<laughs> so it's a great pleasure to be here with you this afternoon. This is my idea of a great time. We've got engineering coming to the College of Arts and Sciences. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and not just in the College of Arts and Sciences, but you know, I'm a professor of ancient Greek and Latin. You've come where the classical sculptures are located, where the pagans hang out. <laughs> So, this is great, you know, we're getting the engineers together with the pagans, and we're having a great party, and the way you have a great party at Cornell is you have students. Let's hear it for the students. So, so I didn't know students from engineering could have this much fun, but apparently it's true. I did hear that three of you were back in the back doing problem sets. You know, you don't have to do those right now, but probably some of you think you do. So, I mean, this is a serious college of engineering, and on a more serious note, I want to say, I've taught a lot of classes at Cornell, and I've had a lot of engineering students in my classes. And no joke, they are very, very good students, not just in math, and engineering, but in classics, and literature, and philosophy. I mean, you all are really good students. So, it's the last time I'm gonna say it, but it needed to be said. <laughs> so, I wanna say that it is inspiring, and we've heard that word a couple of times already this afternoon. It is inspiring to hear about Robert Smith's extraordinary generosity and his vision. And that's why we're here this afternoon. It's meant so much to all of us at Cornell and to me coming back just recently to have this very inspiring gift that has a vision that I think all of us subscribe to. And that is to increase diversity and the appreciation of diversity at Cornell University in engineering and in all our other fields as well. I had the pleasure of chatting briefly with Robert and his mother, Dr. Sylvia Smith, and Linda Wilson, whom you've heard about before the program began. But I want to say welcome to the whole family. It's great to have you here back at Cornell. As some of you may know, Robert is also the new chairman of the board at Carnegie Hall, the nation's greatest musical stage. He has a big presence in New York City, as well as in Texas, as well as at Cornell. And someone mentioned earlier Cornell Tech. We would love to have you engaged at Cornell Tech as well. And I just came back from a trip to Roosevelt Island where Cornell Tech is going up as we speak. It's incredibly exciting. It's another string to Cornell's bow, to use a Carnegie Hall phrase. And I think that it's going to increase the scope and the power and the impact of Cornell in immeasurable ways. Chemical and biomolecular engineering at Cornell is known nationally for its rigorous program. And you know something? Rigor is the word that's often used to describe Cornell, and I don't mind that one bit. Some people think we ought to apologize. I don't think we should apologize for having rigorous education at Cornell. I hope the students agree with that. <laughs> of exactly that, having earned his degree in chemical engineering from Cornell in 1985, then working for six years as an engineer in industry before going on to Columbia, I've heard of Columbia, for an MBA. <laughs> from there, he took a job at Goldman Sachs, then decided to launch his own private equity firm, Vista Equity Partners, with a focus on enterprise software and technology-enabled businesses and it has been a remarkable success. As a philanthropist, Robert has been equally successful. And you know, there are lots of philanthropists, but frankly, they're not all successful because it's not that easy figuring out what one should do with one's money. But Robert has figured that out through the Fund 2 Foundation of which he is the founding director. Beyond writing a check, Robert has looked for gaps in opportunity that his generosity can fill. And that's what a good philanthropist does. A few years ago, for example, he gave an inspiring talk on campus as the Raymond G. Thorpe lecturer, and he distributed a copy of Paolo Coelho's book, The Alchemist, to every student who attended. That book 
which is an allegorical novel about a young shepherd's search for treasure, has made a difference in the lives of many people, and it was an inspired choice to give those out to students. Similarly, with his most recent gift to Cornell, he's demonstrated not only generosity, but extraordinary vision and leadership. The undergraduate scholarships and graduate fellowships in CBE and the diversity initiatives in the College of Engineering, funded through the Fund 2 Foundation, will help build a pipeline. And that's what this is about, building a pipeline for minority students, for women, to the College of Engineering, and it will enrich the diversity of our future classes. And through the Robert Frederick Smith Tech Scholars Program, selected high school seniors with financial aid, again with a focus on students from underrepresented populations, will be able to earn an undergraduate degree from Cornell to be followed by a one-year technical master's at Cornell Tech. My advice when you go to Cornell Tech is you take the tram, not the subway. <laughs> because when you take the tram, you will have your mind blown by the beauty of that location. How many of you have been to Roosevelt Island? A bunch. The rest of you have to go. You have to go and don't take the subway, take the tram. Because that's the way to see it. It's really a phenomenal opportunity for students from everywhere, but particularly for you. So this is the kind of vision, the kind of leadership that Robert Smith has demonstrated. It's now my pleasure to invite him to come address you.